Hi, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I have a journal to share with you today. This is for Lori Louise. Um, she named my sunflower kit and she named it Sunny Days. And for that, I said that the first journal that I made with the kit would go to her. And so this is what I made and I'm just showing off my kit again. Instead of just the printed pages, you get to see kind of like how it would look in a journal and all of that fun stuff. So this is just a simple um, embellished journal. Um, it's There's not a whole lot in it. If you would like to purchase a journal made with this kit, uh, you can follow the link below and do that. There will be a little more embellishing in that journal uh, than in this one, but um, you can do that. So here we go. And also, if you want to purchase this kit, that link will also be below. So on the front, um, I don't know how well it shows up on the video, but this paper has all these little colored flecks that almost looks like other color papers or little bits of organic plant leaves or something like that. So it's really pretty. And then she loves eyelet lace, so I just added some of that and then on the front I just did some layering one of my journal cards and a button and then a piece of vintage music the lovely day is over now and I, I liked adding that because I thought you could use this as a journal maybe as a gratitude journal in the evening or something like that you could write about the day so inside we have one of my pieces of ephemera. This is a perpetual calendar. And so you can you can choose like the um, month and stuff like that. And so this is how the pages all look in a journal. On the other side, what I decided to do was spray it with a light mixture of coffee dye, a little bit of yellow glimmer mist, and some Heidi Swap Color Shine, just for a tiny pop of color. There's some tickets from my kit, um, coffee dyed paper, more pages from my kit with a little fabric ruffle. Um, stamping. This is a journal card from my kit that I just turned into a little pocket and then added um, one of these little journal cards from my kit just tucked in there just as an extra. Just some extra yellow paper cardstock for journaling. Some Tim Holtz Listen to Your Heart It Will Show You The Way. Perfect for journaling. I like this journal card that comes with a kit because it has a space to write like a favorite quote or something like that. And these sunflower tuck spots also come in the kit. Just made a tuck spot with these tickets and then a big tag. And this is the same paper that is here on the front. So I just oh, added that. And then I had a book all on sunflowers. So I added a, it's a page from there. Actually, I think two pages. Here's one of the journal cards that I just turned into a tuck spot to add this little homemade scrapbook. And then there's some um, like leaf stitching on that. Little scrapbook cut out and then one of my journal cards. Just made a little homemade washi and ribbon strip for that. Little button from the kit, digital button. Here's another sunflower book page, another paper button from the kit and a journal card. This one is backed with just some scrapbook paper. Another big tag here in that sunflower tuck spot. I did a little bit of stamping. I like this journal card. It says love this and I also backed that with scrapbook paper. Just really pretty soft. I kind of went a little more um, muted on this than I didn't try to do all yellow. Here's a little paper ribbon and then one of the journal cards from the kit. And then there's a little tuck spot and I like how this tag has a bird in the cage. It's a little cutout tucked in there. And then the giant library card that comes with it. And then my shop name. There's a little bird. I love that bird on there. So just a very simple. Um, I've just been enjoying doing some simple journals because they're so perfect for writing. They inspire you every page to write something down without going over the top. You just have little bits and pieces. Um, and it it also allows you to make your own, make it your own. When it is so covered in all sorts of different things, there's no room really to make it yours. When you have something like this, you have room to add photos, to add your ephemera, to add your washi tape, to add your favorite stickers, and it totally becomes 
yours. It's like the bones, the bare bones of a journal and then you flesh it out. So I've really been enjoying doing some of those as well. So if you want a sunflower journal, like I said, they'll be a little more embellishing than in this one. But if you want a sunflower journal made from this kit, Sunny Days, just click the link below and also click the link below for the digital kit. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And please let me know below what your favorite flower is because I would like to make some more flower kits. My next kit is actually called Ethel's Farm. And there's some really fun things about that kit uh, coming out. I'm actually working with Lori Louise on that. That. she's helping me um, come up with some ideas for designing that one I can't wait to share it with you but I'd like to do more flower themed kits maybe around specific flowers so if you have a favorite flower put it below so that I have you know an idea and please subscribe if you're not subscribed I'd love to have you uh, stay around and become a part of our paper crafting and junk journaling community